Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Alex Halsey. I'm the health fitness specialist at the McLean location. Welcome to Push and uh, Pull. I'm sorry, Kick and Push. Too many P's going on. Welcome to Kick and Push. Happy February. It's the first day of February. So with the first day of February, we also have a new format that we'll be moving to. The last two months we've been doing EMOMs or Every Minute on the Minute. Starting in February, today we're going to be doing uh, a different format. There is no special name for this format, but you will uh, understand it <laughs> sooner and how it's going to flow for the rest of the month. That's going to be what we stick with with both classes, push and pull and kick and push. So starting off with kick and push today, you do not need weights for this class, but of course weights are always encouraged. So if you even have some improv devices, dumbbells, resistance bands, they'll all be appropriate, but you definitely do not need resistance bands, weights, or kettlebells, or anything of that nature for today's class. Um, always, always have them on hand if you do, just in case that we have some options for yourself. All right, so of course, I'll show you guys the modifications we'll have. All right, um, the moves are in the description, so check the description so that way you can kind of see it, see what it's, what it's what the move is before or read what the move is before you actually see it that way you can kind of combine the two to make more sense of it help grow that that exercise intuition there all right so for today's format we're going to have four five total moves but we're going to do two at a time so two intervals of 10 minutes we're going to focus on leg one leg exercise one core exercise we keep alternating between the two for the first 10 minutes. We'll get a 90 second break and then we'll go to the next two for another 10 minutes. After that, we're going to have a finisher that we're going to perform for 90 seconds. That finisher is a leg move as well, just to finish off the glutes. We might or might not have a finisher in the classes coming up, but for today, we do have a finisher move. All right, so secondly, five total moves. We're going to do two 10 minute intervals and then have that last move as our 90 second finisher. All right, so clear out your space, grab your water, grab a towel, whatever it is you need to have, and we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up. Hey Google, turn on. Just wanna make sure you guys can see well enough, just turned on another light. The broadcast paused, we're back, I'm back, and we're gonna go ahead and get warmed up, all right? So just go ahead and come down to the floor of floor on your mat, if you have a mat, or just on the floor, you're going to open up your legs a little bit wider than hip width, and all you're going to do is drop both your knees to the ground, try to keep your shoulders square facing in front of you, or as low as you can comfortably get, and just flip your hips back and forth. If you need to, you can bring your feet, your legs closer together, but all we're doing is just loosening up the hip joint and activating our hip muscles. Try to pivot on your heels, drive your feet into the ground. You don't have to touch the ground, you can just bring your hips down to the point where you feel the stretch. One more each side. All right, go ahead and come to the mat. On all fours, we're gonna do some cat cow, just to loosen up the torso. Just exhale as you bring your head down. Inhale as you look up toward the ceiling. Time smooth transitions. Just go until you are loose. All right. 
it. Take your left hand, bring it behind the head, rotate up, lay down. Exhale as you look up toward the ceiling. Inhale when you bring it down. Try to follow your elbow with your eyes. And go ahead and switch. You can keep going with that, this rotation until you feel nice and loose. It's all right if you hear a few cracks. All right. Go ahead, come to a high plank. Push back, bring the heels to the, the butt to the heels. Keep the knees elevated. If you are not able to, you can just keep the knees down and rock back and forth in and out of child's pose. Here you can go until you're nice and loose here as well. Go ahead, bring that left foot up, rotate up, back down, we got four rotations here, three and four, nice. Now, straighten that front leg out, we got four pumps here, three, four, switch legs, same thing. Four and four, and of course you can always perform more reps to you are loose. All right, go ahead, come to some air squats. Try to make sure our warm up is nice and thorough, just because we're going to be doing longer intervals nowadays for the month of February. And go ahead, come into some lunges. You can continue with the squats if you need to. For your lunges, if you're able, dip into that ankle mobility. Try to push your knee as far forward of your toe as you can. Smooth movements. If you need to use a wall for support, go for it. All right, so we're nice and warmed up. Let's get it going. Okay, so first two moves for 10 minutes, you alternate between two moves. All right, we have a lunge catch or regular lunges. What a lunge catch is, is kind of just like a negative lunge, all right? So you can either step back or forward. You can do a back or forward lunge, your choice. So the main move is gonna look like this. You're gonna catch yourself at the bottom of a lunge and come back up. So catch yourself, come back up. Raise that foot, drop, hold for a second or two, and you come back up. So you have six on each leg, if that's what you're gonna do. Modification is regular lunges. Our regular lunges, you're gonna go for 12 reps each leg, all right? That first move is a little bit more strenuous on your joints and your soft tissues compared to that second move, the alternative, which is just regular uh, lunges. So that's why we have half the reps, all right? So you can do both of those moves with or without weight. And then, after you complete your reps, you're gonna go to your core move, which is alternating leg drops. So you're on your back, raise the legs, drop one leg, bring the other up, and alternate, all right? So, if you're looking for a rep count, go for 10 
reps on each leg, or you can just go until you feel like you've got about five reps left. All right, go use your fatigue to guide how many reps you should do. So if you don't even want to focus on reps, so just perform that move until you feel like you have about five left. All right, so those are your options. 10 each leg or till you feel like you've got five left. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Starting off with that lunge catch or lunge and the alternating leg drops. Three, two, one, let's work. Catch yourself, come back up. Six on each leg. Pause at the bottom. You want to make contact with the ground as softly and as quietly as possible. It's going to absorb all of that downward force as you push back out. One more, folding you that down at the bottom. Absolutely where you increase the intensity as opposed to a regular down and up lunge. Of course, like I said, you can do this with weight or without. I'll add the weight my second set. I'm just trying to get the first one out the way as a warm up. Five. And six. All right, alternating leg drops. And if you want to switch from one form of lunge to the next, you can. You don't have to stick with one. You can switch. For these leg drops, make sure you're going nice and slow. Control your tempo. Try not to pull up on your head with your hands. To our leg drops or lunge catches just under eight minutes flat and if you are going to add in weight it doesn't need to be anything heavy relative to you two three and you don't need to step out very far or you should be able to get that knee past the toe Make sure you're doing both legs. Just under seven minutes to go. If you want to hold your legs up at the top or the bottom, you can do that as well. It'll be a little bit harder if you hold from the bottom. Try to keep your head elevated. We've got five minutes, 45 seconds to go. Hold at the bottom. One to two second hold at the bottom. Let's 
quietly and softly as you can. Might not sound too quiet for me. These wood floors have plenty of character. To cracking a lot. Keep it up, y'all. Come on. Four and a quarter minutes to go. It's 45 to go. Make sure you're breathing on those, on the uh, leg drops there. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. That's if you're doing it from the bottom. Holding your legs up at the top, exhale as you lower your leg, inhale as you bring it up. minutes flat. Two minutes, 15 seconds. If you need to ditch your weight and go with body weight, you can do that too. Do what you can to modify the move, modify your resistance to allow you to keep moving. Keep that head elevated. Make sure you're breathing. Woo! One and a quarter to go. One and a quarter to go. Ah. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Softly and quietly, softly and quietly on the pause at the bottom. Don't skimp out on the pause at the bottom. Absorb. Switch it up. Whew, 30 seconds. That was a hard step. Not quiet.
10 seconds. Uh, we have a 90 second break. Two, and time. 90 second break. I'll explain our next two. Okay, so our next two, we have 90 degree squats and calf raises, then a bent leg hold as our core move. Whew. 90 degree squat, all that is, is you're gonna make a 90 degree angle with your feet. One pointing out to either the left or the right, and the other one pointing straight forward. Adjust your width and your stance accordingly, but all you're doing is squatting down. You can hold your weight between your legs and come up. All right, so we're gonna alternate what foot you have in front each time. So right now my left leg is in front, my right leg is out to the side, Create a 90 degree angle with your feet. Drop down in your squat and come up. We're really working on the groin area, the adductors. The next set, you're gonna switch. Now I'm gonna bring my right leg up front, my left leg out to the side. Same thing. All right, you're going for 10 to 12 squats. If you wanna elevate it to 15, go for it, but you have a lot of reps. So use your discretion. After you complete your 10 to 12 squats, you're gonna do regular calf raises. All right, with or without weight. You can do one-legged, you can do two-legged if you want. The bent leg hold, you're on your back. Bend your legs, hold, raise your arms, lift to the ceiling, and you hold. Hold until you only have about 10 seconds left. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. 10 to 12 reps, create that 90 degrees with your feet. Descend into your squat and come up. Adjust your width accordingly. You should be able to get down a little bit deeper in here than normal. time here again there's no rush I'm just going for as many sets as we can within that 10 minute time frame all right so got nine minutes to go and bent leg hold so if you want you can hold the weight right here bend those legs you're holding right here to make this really challenging make sure you lift lift your shoulders off the floor and reach for the sky that's gonna activate your core, you should feel it. Hold this until you have about 10 seconds left before you can no longer hold it. Or 10 seconds before failure. You don't have to have weight, but you can to make it a little bit more harder. And it's perfectly all right if you aren't able to hold it for a very long time. That 10 seconds before failure is to help you ensure that you give the effort you can give and not going by what I can do. All right. So here we go. Make sure you switch legs. I'm switching my right foot to be in the front and my left leg to be out to the side. Adjust your width accordingly to help you get down low and bring it back up. Smooth reps. And do not let your toe track inside of your foot. You want to make sure your, your knee goes in line with your foot. Your foot's pointing straight. The same direction your foot is, that's the direction you want your knees to travel in. Slow your momentum as you come to the bottom. Don't just plop down and bounce back up, all right? Slow your momentum, then increase it going in the opposite direction. All right, back on the core. Try not to talk too much during these with you guys to help you get a good little, so you can focus, so you can get that burn, all right? Just wanna make sure we're doing those exercises correctly executing them the best that we can 
So again here, make sure your shoulders are elevated, reach toward the ceiling. Like a curl, holding a curl. Make sure you breathe. We're just under six minutes. We got five minutes, 50 seconds to go. Make sure you switch legs again. I'm back to my left foot out front, right foot out to the side. Let's get it. Remember, slow yourself down as you come toward the floor. Five minutes flat to go. Keep working, y'all. Keep it going. Keep it up. Back to the floor we go. Whew. All right. Hold this till you get to 10 seconds before failure. Look up at the ceiling, look up at your weight to help keep yourself vertical. Make sure you breathe. A little shaking is okay. Three minutes, three quarters to go. Whew, we got enough time to get at least one more in on both sides. All right, switch legs. Don't forget to switch legs. Let's do it. Make sure your torso is as upright as you can get it. In other words, bring your shoulders back, pop your chest out. All right, try not to have your shoulders roll forward while you're doing this move. Bring them back. Keep your spine as neutral as possible. Smooth as you can get it. guys are sore tomorrow and you're in it fast I do apologize that you decided to listen to what I said <laughs> Whew. so again adjust your weight accordingly if you're really having a hard time getting to 12 drop those weights and go with body weight we got two minutes 15 seconds to go Push up, try to lift those shoulders off the floor and hold. Three 
breathing, guys. Keep on breathing. You got it. You got it. We got one minute and 10 seconds. Whew. Make sure you're switching legs. Whew. All right, we got less than a minute, 55 seconds to go. This should take us through. Smooth reps, smooth reps. Keep that shoulder, the shoulders back, keep the chest up as best as you can. Slow yourself as you come to the floor. Twenty seconds to go. I'm just gonna take it through with these squats. Whew. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, time. Whew. All right, we got that finisher coming up. Finisher's gonna focus on the glutes. Don't need any weight for this one. Okay. All right, so our finisher is a short lever to long lever fire hydrant. We're gonna go for 90 seconds. Try to demonstrate that for you guys right now. Okay. It's a short to long lever fire hydrant. You're on all fours. I'll show you two angles. You're on all fours. You're gonna bring your leg up, bend, extend, bring it back back down, all right? So you can choose to alternate each each rep. You can go right, you can go left for the whole 90, or you can split it in half, all on one side for the first half, second half, all on the other, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one, let us work. Just like before, smooth movements. So feel this in your glutes and in your core. Make sure you breathe. Way there. Go ahead and switch if you need to. Whew. So definitely be feeling this in your glutes. We might have this as a finisher again next week. Definitely we'll have it sometime again this month. 20 seconds, y'all. Keep it up. Ooh, that burns. Ah, it burns so much. And if you can't keep your foot elevated, what you can do, oh, we got five seconds. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Ooh. Good Lord, that burns. All right, take a load off. We're done. Ooh. Thank y'all for sticking in there with me. For the month of one little last announcement before we cool down. For this month, we're starting our Making Gains program that's dedicated to helping you guys begin a strength protocol, strength or hypertrophy. All right, powerlifting, strength, same thing. 
hypertrophy is your other option there okay so if you're just looking to build strength which is pick something up one good time or a few good times that's really heavy and be efficient at that that's strength that's what you want to do you just want to get the get the pump and increase your definition you want to do hypertrophy so we have templates for you all to use that we will help customize tailored toward your goals for both strength and hypertrophy protocols so whatever gains you're interested in making we can help you achieve that so fast jump fitness to see a more on that or you can just email us at miter at fitness.org all right and of course you can always come down to the fitness center chat with us see all the promos the promotional uh, information on that as well all right so let's cool down down to the floor we go bring the right leg up and pull it into your body stretching out the glutes here breath relax and switch big breath relax again Go ahead, come to a butterfly stretch. So bring your feet together, bob the soles of your feet together, pull your feet in towards your body. We're gonna stretch out the groin area or our adductors. And slightly squeeze your glutes just a little bit to help pull your knees down and further stretch the groin. legs back in we're going right back to that first stretch pull the right leg up and over pull it into your body bring your shoulders back to help pull the leg into your body and relax and switch Let's come back to the butterfly stretch. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Pull your feet in towards your body. Slightly squeeze the glutes to help pull the knees down and stretch the adductors or the groin a little bit more. Relax. I'm gonna come to the quad now. Loop the left foot with the left hand. Pull it back towards your left glute and lean back. Just remember that I did not do any of the calf raises. Do apologize, folks, if I forget. I caused you to forget that move as well. No worries, no worries. We still got in a good workout. We'll have to just make sure we add it in the next time, next week. All right, so I do apologize for missing that move. Why you guys didn't tell me? Bring and relax and switch.
can stay seated or you can come to your feet. We're going to do a hamstring stretch. So you're just going to fold over, push your chest towards your knees, and pull along your toes, stretch out the hamstrings. If you're standing, make sure you keep on breathing, take those deep breaths. Take a big breath in, exhale, slowly come up, and you're good to go. So that is our workout for today, you guys. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Alex. This was Kick and Push, which is legs and core. Let me guys know what you think. Give me any feedback that you have. I would love to hear it. It's greatly appreciated. And y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see y'all next week for the next class. And I'll remember to add in those calf raises. All right?